What's up everyone and welcome to your push level one workout. We're going to be hitting triceps, chest and shoulders today. Make sure you're ready to work. I've got such a good pump right now and I was challenged throughout every single exercise and I'm glad to be doing it with you today. So we start off with chest and then we rock into triceps and then we finish out with shoulders and then just a touch of cardio, just about seven minutes of cardio at the end to get your heart rate up and leave you feeling pumped and proud of yourself. 45 second work periods and three rounds in a straight set format for every exercise so you'll progress in getting up to failure again and that last rep is what I need okay so grab your water and your sweat towel your bench and your jump rope if you have them those are optional let's go ahead and crush it one let's go big backward circles open it up welcome to your push workout so excited to have you here and so ready to feel our chest our triceps and our shoulders rocking today cross it over We've got a little cardio finisher, just about seven minutes at the end of our workout, with some passive movement. Okay, I'm gonna get your heart rate up just a bit. So if you have a jump rope, go ahead and pull that out. If you don't have a jump rope, we're gonna do the same exact motions. Good work. Just give me your left arm, cross and open. There you go, good job. Try and stay tall here. Two more. Good, switch arms, let's go. Here we go, three, two, one. Good, hands together, take them up and overhead. Look through, okay, punch your head through your arms. Let's bend and straighten. As you bend, I want you to reach back, thumb towards your spine. Good. Two more. There you go, great job. Hands up overhead, pull, pull. Good work. I want you to stretch all the way from your finger down to the side of your body. So we get a little posterior delt in there as well. Good, drop your arms down, palms face the floor. Ear goes side to side. Trying to relax your traps here so we're not shrugging. Good job, and we've got a warm up exercise for our first exercise. We're gonna hit shoulders, chest, and triceps in that one. All right, beautiful. Big backward circles. And hinge it forward, let's cross. Good job. In the last 30 seconds, I want you to just pull your fingers, let's stretch our forearms. After you do that, if you just wanna jog in place or get your area set up, we're gonna get started with inchworm push-ups. So inchworm rocking our shoulders and our triceps in the walk. Go nice and wide. Shoulders or your fingers are right outside your ribs for the push-up. Okay, 45 seconds, so take your time in these. And let's go in four, two. All right, walk it out, here we go. The walk is there to warm your shoulders up and your triceps. And then we go into the push-up for our chest. Great work. And if you need to drop to your knees for those, that's totally fine. These are all the push-ups that we have today. Good work. One more, let's go. Four. Two. All right, great job, rest. And we'll take it back, round number two. You're gonna walk it out, shoulder tap, shoulder tap, then push up. Okay, so a little shoulder involvement there. Let's go in four. Come on. Great work. Oh, 
And make sure when you're going down in your push-up, your hands are not up around your shoulders. They're circling your chest. So if you're here trying to do a push-up, it's gonna be really tough on your shoulders. Shift it to where your chest is over your thumbs, then go down. One more, seven. Two, one, rest. All right, last round. Shoulder tap, shoulder tap, push up, push up. Then walk back, okay? Then we'll move on to incline chest press, okay? Two, one, let's go. There you go. Get your chest nice and primed. And by the way, you're gonna get better at these the more we do them. So just get comfortable here. Be proud. Fifteen seconds. Last one, seven. Two. And rest for 30. Beautiful work. All right, come on up. If you have an inclined bench, go ahead and put it up just on that first level. If you have a regular bench, pull it out. If you're doing it on the floor, drop it down, okay? We've got chest press or bench press, okay? Three rounds, just like last time, straight sets. All right, I'm gonna start with my 20s. And we go in six. Ready? Dumbbells up, let's go. Little pinch together of your shoulder blades behind your back will help open your chest up just a little bit more. And get into that good stretch. Slow on the way down, pause at the bottom, then explode. That's the way we get intensity. Eight. One more, three. Rest. All right, so knowing that in round three, I want you to get close to not being able to do any more reps at the end, judge this round two. Can you go up? Do you wanna stay here? Let's go. Great work. Seventeen. One more, five. Rest, Whew. great job. Okay, round three, you gotta get there. And remember, we have 45 seconds, so if you wanna go a little bit more heavy, ambitious, go there. You got time to drop down if you need to. Let's go. Nice work. Twenty. Twelve. Come on, come on. One more, four. Rest. Beautiful job. We got 30 seconds. Grab water. Hitting chest again. A little bit lighter. Chest flies. Okay, a lot lighter probably. All right. 
We're gonna go in nine. I'm gonna drop it down flat. I'm gonna use my tens for round one. Ready? Two. Let's go. Great job. We've got three rounds of these, so make sure dumbbells are not up around your forehead, they're around your chest and your sternum. Seven. Three, two, and rest. Now, if you can watch me in our rest period, you just sit there and watch. We're gonna go partials, okay? So we got a full rep, come to the top, Stretch it, come halfway, then back to the top. So rep and a half. Ready? Let's go. Same weight, full range of motion, and then a pause partial. Keep going. Good work, 17. Let's go one more, four. Rest. All right, one more round. We're keeping the partials in. So if you wanna go heavier than this, go ahead. You wanna have good form, get close to burnout. Stay here, that's fine. Ready, let's go. One full range of motion and then a half rep. Great work, come on, push, push, push. Last one, six. And rest. Whew. 30 seconds to breathe. Beautiful job. Should be feeling that, a little bit of warmth in your chest and potentially anterior delt. We move on now to tricep overhead extension. You can do this seated or you can do it standing, okay? I'm gonna take it down, you're gonna pause here, push up. Pause, push up, okay? I'm gonna start with my 20. Let's go in two, one, come on. Good, one, two, then full extension. Nice work, 15. One more, four. And rest, good job. So we finished chest, as you can tell. Moving on to triceps. We've got three tricep exercises. This is exercise one. The triceps whole job is to straighten the elbow, so just keep remembering that. Let's go. Okay, pause here, straighten. And what you wanna try to do with the tricep is feel that stretch at the bottom. So you're coming from a place of a fully stretched muscle. Okay, that allows us to get more out of each rep. Good job. Fourteen, come on. 
Nine. Four. Rest. Good job. And because we are moving through a little bit of burnout here, be expecting it to feel a little tougher each round. That makes sense, right? Let's go up if you can. Down if you need to. Come on. Good work, come on. I feel it, come on, I feel it with you. Seven. Two. And 30 seconds rest. Beautiful job. We move on to a little bit lighter tricep kickbacks, okay? You can either do this hinged standing or you can do them on the bench. You have to bring it up and then extend or you can do the same thing on the ground. You will have to bring it up, then extend. We're going for this, not just this, okay? So I'm gonna drop to my tens. We alternate and we go in two. One, come on. Try to keep your back turned on here. So if you're rounded in the chest, try to open your chest up a little bit. Great work, eight. One more, three. Rest, good job. Water if you need it, this is a good time. All right, ready? Let's go again. Two, one. Lock it out, you're doing great. Elbow pins here, you fully extend, bend, then go down. Because you get something out of that lowering portion too. And I want you to get everything out of every rep. Two, rest. One more round, if you can, go a little heavier. I'm gonna try it out. Ready? Don't compromise your form. Three, two, let's go. Twenty one. Push, push, 10, come on. Five. Two. And rest for 30. We've got dips up next and you have options here, okay? You can use your bench, you can use the edge of your dumbbells, you can use the ground or yoga mat. Also, if dips are not something you are able to physically do right now, I want you to lay down for skull crushers. Okay, nice and flat. All right, we're gonna go down nice and slow, pause, then push back up. Let's go. 
And you have to remember, this has a lot to do with shoulder mobility. So if you're here and it's just this low for right now, push up and lock it out. And let's work on that mobility in the meantime. Okay, the further your feet are away from you, the tougher this is. Try not to float your hips away from the bench. Just going straight down. This will be tough, but we're capable, we're strong. Two. Rest. Good job. And when I said you can use your dumbbells, you would just stack them up kind of standing and use that little top part for the dip. Two, one, round two. Let's get it. It's been a while since we've done these. Make sure your elbows go straight back, not out to the side. If your dips look like this with your arms, take your elbows, glide them past your body. Body goes straight down. I know they're tough. They feel like they're gonna be so easy and then you get into them, you're like, come on. You got this though. I'm with you. Five. Rest. All right, one more round. Gives us a little stretch in the shoulder as well. All right, ready? Come on, this is why we showed up, to push hard, let's go. Seconds, come on, second half. Go, go, eight. Whatever you got left, four. Rest. Oh, I'm proud of you. Make sure you don't leave this workout notating immediately the thing that was toughest for you today, okay? Just like that, that was hard. Don't leave the workout saying, the dips are terrible, okay? You got through it, we'll get better. Leave it there. Seated Arnold Press is up next. Bringing your hands right in front of your face. Two, one, let's go. Twenty seconds. Good job. Eight. Two. Rest. Good job. Now, we are close to the end of the workout, so if everything feels super heavy right now, makes sense, okay? You stay focused. You stay driving. You're doing great. Round two. Second half, good job. Seven. Rest. 
one more round. I'm gonna stay right here. I need my form to be great, okay? Keep pushing. Doesn't matter what weight you have right now, just matters that you're pushing it as hard as you can. Last round, come on. Get close to failure and be okay with it. Come on. Breathe. Fifteen. Seven. One more. Breathe. Big oh. deep breath. You're strong and you're only getting stronger. A lot of this is mindset, right? Taking those light weights again. Lateral raises, we're alternating, okay? So I want you to have a little bit of a stretch behind the back, then lift, okay? So a little bend here, reach back, lift back, lift, and we're gonna alternate. Ready? Let's go. Good, just a little more stretch for the lateral. That's the whole mission of this one, okay? When you get here, lift the pinky, bring it back right behind your leg. I'm gonna move my bench out of the way. We'll go again for round number two and seven. All right, let's go. one more round. Whew. Great job. All right, got a good pump. Let's go. Three, two, come on. And what I want you to remember here for this one, getting the dumbbell just a little bit further back so the shoulder is stretched just a bit more. Make sure you're not reaching your hand up knuckles first. You're leading up with the elbow and the wrist. Good, now slow on the way down for the last 10. Last one, three. <laughs> Rest. All right, now we're gonna try and work on the back of the shoulder, okay? We hit anterior with the Arnold press, lateral with our behind the back lateral raises. Now we're gonna go from neutral to wide hook. The mission is to hit right here, so don't worry about rowing everything, okay? Take it wide, elbow is up. You're just trying to get this part of your shoulder working. Neutral to wide, alternating. Ready? Let's go. Three, 
15. Six. Two. Great job. Two more rounds of that. I know this is a very targeted exercise. Also, if you want to go down to the floor and do it, that's okay too. Okay, two, one, neutral to wide. Just make sure you keep your chest open, okay? standing or kneeling, whichever one you connected with the best. If you think about pulling something from a cable or a band right to your face, that's how I want you to feel in these. Last round, let's get it. Now that your shoulders are nice and hot, we're gonna go into some jump rope. If you don't have a jump rope, high knees or just standing marches. Okay, moving into cardio to finish this one out. So we start in 10. Jump rope, single leg or high knees. Are you ready? All right, let's get it. I chose jump rope today because it still works the arms a little bit, right? Keep breathing. Just moving a little bit to close this one out. 12. Five. Breathe. 15 seconds. Two more rounds of that. Whatever variation you would like. High knees or jump rope. Three, two. Good job, keep breathing. Here we go, 15. You got nine. Three. Breathe. One more round of that. Good job. Big deep breath. Ready? Just getting the heart rate up a little bit here. Let's go. Make sure you're not skipping this part. Remember what our round three of every exercise is. Go all out, all you've got left. So right here, 
should be going for it. Let's go. Come on, come on. Seven. Two. Breathe. Move your jump rope. Last exercise of the day. We hit chest, we hit triceps, we hit shoulders. We're gonna do that again in a push up and a burpee, okay? So one burpee, wide push up. One burpee, close push up. One burpee, pike push up, okay? And just keep repeating. You don't have to move, I'm just showing you three variations. Wide push up, close push up, pike push up. Two. As of now, let's go. Three, two, one, breathe. Whew. All right. Two more rounds of that. Let's get it. Come on, I know you're tired. I know you're here to get stronger though. Two, one, Come on. Thirteen. Five. Breathe. This is it. Forty-five seconds between you and I and the end of our workout. I need everything you've got left, okay? Let's go. Two, one, come on. Let's go, 15. Four. All you've got right here, two. Breathe. And you have made it to your cool down. Because you're on the ground right here, stay here for a second, big deep breath in. And reach your hips back over your calves. Arms are out front, pinky fingers are on the ground. Let's cool it down. That workout was intended to make you feel exactly how you're feeling right now. I feel it too. Oh my gosh, that was tough. I'm out of breath. This was supposed to be a strength workout. She somehow managed to magically put burpees in there. And I know you worked hard throughout the whole workout. So it was just my, come on up to standing, just my treat to you at the end because I know you're craving them. But seriously, I know sometimes at the end of a workout, you think you've given everything. And then if I ask you, give me just a bit more, you discover something deeper within yourself that you think, okay, I thought it was done. I'm stronger than I thought. My job and my mission and my favorite part of working out together 
is to pull that out of each other. Switch it over. So many times you think I've given everything I've got and then we challenge each other and we keep going and we prove time and time again that you've got more to push, okay? Just like this workout was intended to do, you pushed your way through chest and triceps and shoulders last. Shoulders you had already used in your chest and triceps work. So I know they were tired, but I know you worked hard. Every single person is leaving this workout today, arms overhead, pull, with the mentality of I'm strong and I'm just getting stronger. Flex is a word that is so powerful and it's meant to be kind of like a mantra. Instead of just saying, oh my gosh, that was really hard, I'm gonna be really sore, all the things that were negative about that experience, meaning if you start talking negatively to yourself, I just don't want that to happen for you anymore. I want you to be proud of what you accomplished and the time that you had to dedicate to yourself. That in itself is something to be proud of. Outside of that, if you got to the point in this workout where you were exhausted, you were failing reps, you had to drop down in weight, that is excellent. That is everything we're needing. To get stronger, you have to feel your weakest. That's when the biggest change comes, both in terms of just biomechanics, in terms of your physiology. It's not just get through a workout and automatically see incredible progress. It's absolutely crush, demolish, go hard, fail, mess up, have to drop down in a workout and give your body that signal that says, okay, we have to adapt. We have to get stronger. We're going to develop lean muscle mass because he or she is pushing me hard and I need to be able to rock with that. Okay, so palms down as you stretch out your traps here. Leave with that mindset. There's nothing about this workout that was negative towards you. It's all positive towards the changes that you wanna make in your body. Switch it over. I will continue to challenge you. You will continue to show up and that's all you have to worry about. Okay, you show up, you work hard. Move your body outside of this with some stretching, some walking, taking care of yourself, right? There's so much mental health power in just outside of our obligations and our to-do list, just moving. All right, stretch, breathe, go outside. Be proud of yourself today, okay? That wasn't easy, but we're not here to make things easier. We're here to get stronger. So continue to flex the confidence in yourself here and in the workout that you can do things that are hard. And I'll see you back here for our next workout tomorrow. Great job today.